everybody, last Outrider here with another Dark Angels formation. Because we all know Dark Angels are the best, right? And this one is for you. If you've ever wanted a, what is it, Raven Wing, Death Wing Army, this is for you. And of course, as always, first the fluff. It is in the nature of the Dark Angels to hold their hatreds close. And after the events of Stern's Remembrance, Bane's Landing, and Newmark, they have good reason to hate the Crimson Slaughter. One of their greatest heroes was slain at Cranon, Cranon's hand, and courageous battle brothers were sacrificed in hellish rituals. Worst still, a cache of the chapter's gene steed had been stolen by the Crimson Slaughter to create corrupt traitor space marines. For these atrocities and countless others, Balthazar, Turmiel, and other followers seek revenge upon Cranon the Relentless and all his heretic followers. Their patience is endless and their resolve absolute. The brothers of the unrelenting hunt will not rest until every last warrior of the Crimson Slaughter lies dead upon the field of war. Booyah! So, how do you build an unrelenting hunt army? You're going to find this very nice to hear. This is a formation. For those who do not know, a formation is a special collection of units that if you buy them all together, now you can upgrade, upgrade them and do whatever you want to them, have characters in them or anything like that that you want, but you have to buy all of these units together with the points. These units are outside of the normal force allocation chart, so they don't take up any slots you can if you have remaining points you can you you still have to spend the normal points that you need for the fourth al force allocation uh, chart so all of that the troop choices and elite I mean uh, HQ is required but after that you can then add this formation and as many copies of it as as you want if you can afford them in the game that's a formation now, on top of that, after you follow the restrictions of the formation, you then get extra special rules that apply to units only in that formation. So, the units that I'm going to list to you here, once you buy all of those units outside of the normal force allocation chart, you will then get the special rule that applies only to those units. So, here we go. Let's find out what the unrelenting hunt is. First, it requires one company master, one librarian, one tactical squad, and here's the good part, one Deathwing Terminator squad, one unit of Deathwing Knights, one Ravenwing Attack Squadron, one unit of Ravenwing Black Knights, and one Ravenwing Dark Talon. Once you have purchased all of those units, the restrictions obviously are that all units in this formation must have the Dark Angels faction. So that's what they, I guess that would apply to the tactical squad, the librarian, and the company master because everybody else is obviously uh, Dark Angels. So when you meet all of those requirements, you will gain the following special rule called, well, uh, the normal one is Hatred. First you gain Hatred for Chaos Space Marines. Who else? But the cool thing is it's all Chaos Space Marines, so this formation can be used on anyone. You will also gain Relentless. Okay? So that's two special rules right there. And the third one, which is my favorite, called No Respite and No re Forgiveness. What does that mean, you might ask? Well, it means this. Models from this formation 
that are within 12 inches of a model with the Chaos Space Marines faction automatically pass leadership and can re-roll all failed charge rolls. How freaking awesome is that? So build this army and bring the pain, showing everybody exactly how Dark Angels kick ass. Until next time, bye. <laughs>